Hello everybody, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we will create a very tasty pizza logo. It's a simple, stay tuned and you will see what we have to do. Okay, first we will create a pizza. Let's take the pen tool. This is the pen tool. Pen tool. I show the ruler with the press Z and R. Create the lane, yes, and create a bottom lane, top lane. Now you have to create a guideline line. Okay, the first line. Ah, sorry. The first line, line here, and back here. Now we got triangle, but it's not what we need it. We need something would look like pizza. We need some customizations. As you can see, uh, insert. We need to insert at anchor point here to make it a uh, little bit angle okay yes now take the selecting tool click on this anchor and move it as you can see we can move this anchor now but it's still not pizza we need to make it the we need to convert this point to smooth anchor point and you do like this just click on the anchor click here now yes this is much better i think it look almost like pizza again click on the anchor handle the right side handle the left side okay great i think now it's really good the next thing we have to fill the pizza with color black for our purpose and you have to select the path first sorry now fill it with black here okay we got it the next thing is to duplicate this path click here and uh, press alt and move now you can see we got a two pizza the second one change color to white okay and make it a little bit smaller this it's because we are making now the border now it's look good i think okay now what we have to do we have to select the top white layer and the bottom black layer you can select both with pressing a shift and then click okay we got it now you have to find the pathfinder and click on the minus front yes what happened now we have a uh, just one layer and it's only the border the white layer is is gone okay what we have to do now we will create the feeling of pizza it's inside let's we just go back with Z in Z or undo move like here in edit just make uh, more this pizza 
layers okay this we don't need now and now again select the white one and the black one pin the pathfinder and click on minus front okay we got it now another pizza as you can see i will change the color to see it it's here okay we will use this pizza like our tomato sauce like this okay i will change the color a little bit yes this one is great this d91 f26 okay now i got another but i will copy it again duplicate with alt and move with the mouse okay change color to black and now we got another one white with on the bottom and make it a little bit smaller bold okay like this is okay i think <laughs> a little bit bigger okay we got it and now again change the layers and this white layer move a little bit down as you can see we have a another border of pizza now select the both layers and again minus front what happened yes we got a pretty good pizza i think now we have to do some cheese on the top of pizza we need a ellipse tool and we will create some uh, uh, ellipses or circle like this i will color it to white and move on the top of pizza like this if you want to copy it just press an alt and move with the mice like this and now you can make it a little bit smaller like this okay copy here okay now we got it also cheese on the top of pizza i think it look good now what you have to do if you want to divide this cheese from the or cut these uh, circles from the red uh, feeling of pizza okay first ellipse to and first cheese okay select another okay the next one okay the next one i selected with the pressing a shift and click okay now what we have to do we have a cut it the circles on the topping of pizza okay now what we have to do we will create a simple text on this logo okay we take a rectangle tool and make some shape like this change the color black or dark gray it is up to you okay line in the middle
triangle. Now for my purpose, select this corner and move a little bit on the side and do same on the right one. Okay. A little bit here. Yes, I think it's okay. And now choose the text font. Okay, the size will be bigger and the font mm -mm. open sans will be good, I think so. Perfect. Ah. Color of the text will be white. Select just text, not like me. I got selected almost also, but with this shape. Change the color of font to white and move it on the shape. Okay, it looks pretty good. Maybe I need some special font. Yes, this is better. I think it's center you got it. A little bit bigger. Do an edit, it's okay. Move it in the middle of pizza. Okay. Now what do we have to do? I want to divide this black shape from the pizza you can do it like this just make a white shape under this black one color it to white and move this rectangle under the black rectangle now as you can see we have a divided divided from the pizza icon Okay, now I think we can with just a little bit bigger ketchup on the pizza. Okay, it looks better now. Yes. And we are almost done. Just this white rectangle. You have to cut you have to copy it first cut as you can see your white rectangle is on the top of the red ketchup layer just select the ketchup layer and the uh, rectangle again pathfinder minus front okay as you can see it's the red layer with ketchup is divided okay now another wide rectangle select it and we need to cut these pizza borders just select the layer with the pizza like this one as you can see i get selected the rectangle and the pizza layer again find the pathfinder and click on minus front as you can see we have everything divided from the pizza now if you want it uh, to save it like a PNG without the with the transparent background it's no problem you can do it everything under logo it's transparent okay and I don't need these guides now what I have to do now, this is one white rectangle, we don't need it, delete it. What we have to do now? Every client want the nice logo and was nicer as you can do. We need some background, create new layer, move it under the layer with pizza, create it rectangle like this and change color 
for me it's a little bit gray yes this one is good as you can see we don't have a background under the pizza because we got everything what we don't need under it okay now another but not a rectangle now it will be ellipse create the shape this ellipse change color to white okay we got it align in the middle uh, horizon, horizontal alignment and here and the vertical alignment here now click on effect uh, blur gaussian blur radius 90 it's okay i think you can see if you want to see now just click on preview yes it look really good blue red edges that's what we needed click on ok make this shape a little bit bigger ok the last thing now maybe this background a little bit more white Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Now, the last thing I ever think do is to put the shadow a little bit under the logo. It looks better. Opacity 25, offset 5, 5, blue 10. Preview, oh, it's too much, I think it's okay press okay and the most important thing if you want to export the logo in the vectors don't forget to check your part with the font and make sure you click on type and create outlines from this font this make your font uh, vector this make vectors from your font as you can see every letter is divided and you can change it one by one yes we are done if you like my tutorial please subscribe me give me some questions you have some and stay tuned the new video is coming thank you goodbye